What's up everybody, this is Nate from Bandam, and today I've got the review of the Matchless HC30 head. It's one of my favorite guitar amps. It's a two-channel amp with a uh, 12 AX7 on the uh, first channel. It's got a, a volume, bass, and treble controls to control your tone there. And on channel 2, which uses a EF86 preamp tube, you have a volume control and you use a, a six-position tone knob and a cut control to control your uh, tone on that channel there. Uh, today, to give you an idea of what it kind of sounds like, I've got the matching uh, matchless ESD-212 uh, cabinet, and I'm playing through a Fender American Deluxe Strat and a Gibson Les Paul as well. So just to give you an idea, I'll run through a couple cleaner sounds, turn the volume up, kind of let you see, hear how it sounds uh, dirtier as well, and we'll take it from there and see how it goes. So let's start with the 12AX7 channel, um, bass and treble about 12 o'clock, and volume around 9. Let's give it a try. volume up to about 12 now. Let's take it a little dirtier to about 3 o'clock in the volume. volume maxed. That was the bridge pickup. Let's take the volume back down to about 9 and see how the neck pickup sounds for a little bit cleaner tone here. Volume back up to about 12 again. And volume up to about 3 o'clock. And volume maxed again. Switch on over to the EF86 channel. It's a little bit dirtier, has a bit more gain. Um, same deal, volume about nine on the strat. Bridge pickup. And volume up to about 12, get some more gain on it. Once you turn it up to about 3 o'clock on the EF86 channel, it gets a nice bit of gain to it. Let's hear how that sounds. And that was, of course, the bridge pickup on the Strat, nice and bright. Let's switch it up to the neck, get a little bit of a uh, more bassy sound, see how it goes. Volume on 9 on the EF86 channel. Volume back up to about 12. Back up to about 3 o'clock. 
Let's tune it on down to D and see how some uh, drop D stuff sounds in it with chords and some singleness in it too. <laughs> Flipping it up to the neck pickup here, get a nice fat sound out of it. All right, and switching over to the Wes Paul, back to the 12AX7 clean channel, a volume about 9 o'clock, same EQ controls as before. volume back up to about 12. And volume up to about 3. Okay, turning the volume back down to about 9 o'clock, switching it up to the neck pickup here on the Les Paul. Volume up to 12. up to three. And volume maxed out on the 12AX7 channel. Okay, let's switch on back to the EF86 channel with the Les Paul. See how some chords sound on the little bit cleaner mode there. Uh, volume back at about 9 o'clock. Same tone and cut settings as before with the strap. Volume up to about 12. Turn the volume back down a little bit. Turn the tone knob up one notch to be a bit more bassy here. Let's see how the uh, Les Paul bridge pickup sounds with a little a couple more chords here. And turn the volume up again, about 12. single note stuff with the neck pickup on the Les Paul EF86 channel. Let's turn the volume up to about 9 o'clock here, see how it sounds. <laughs>
we'll switch it back to the 12AX7 channel, kind of round off here with a little clean jazz chord thing. Let's we'll see if you can spot this one. That was the demo of the Matchless HC30 head. To mic everything today, I used a, a Sennheiser E906 and also the classic Shure SM57. Uh, so if you liked what you heard, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do there. Um, you can also check out some of our original stuff. You can hear a lot of the gear that we use in these videos in our songs as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching.